Hello students, good time to all. I am Chandan Kumar Pradhan. Welcome to YouTube channel Chandan Physics. In this video, we are going to discuss one of the application of OPAM that is ADDER. Let's begin. An ADDER is that circuit that performs mathematical addition. Now, we can create an order circuit by using an op-amp. As we know, an op-amp has two terminal, one is non-inverting, another one is inverting terminal. The potential at these terminals positive sign non inverting terminal potential let V1 negative that one is inverting terminal has potential let V2 at output we obtain VO. To create an adder by using that type of uh, op-amp, that non-inverting terminal as grounded and we provide signal through that of inverting terminal. Let Three signals B of A. Another signal B of B Another signal B of C And that end use the feedback network to create an adder by using op-amp the resistors are used all are same resistance it has resistance R, resistance R, resistance R, resistance R. Let the amount of current from that of signal V of A I of A from signal V of B I of B, then from signal B of C and I of C. At node G, again let current through that of feedback resistance. let i now to found out what be the value of output voltage we have to use kirchhoff's current law 
at the top node C applying Kirsop's current law at node G. According to Kirsop's current law, the input current is equal to the output current at that of node. Here the input current I A plus I B plus I C is equal to the output current. Here the current through that of uh, register let I and the current through this op amp let I2. As you know in case of an ideal op amp it provides infinity impedance the input impedance is infinity therefore no current flow through that of op amp therefore I2 will be 0 for an ideal op amp I2 is 0 current through that op amp so that expression Ia plus Ib plus Ic is equal to I. Here we can use Ohm's law. According to Ohm's law, the current is equal to potential difference divided by resistance. First we write the resistance for Ia as R. All the resistances are same. R plus R is equal to R. Now, what will be the potential difference? For current IA, from the top source VA, VA to V2, VA minus V2. Next, for IB, it is from VB to V2, VB minus V2. Next, for IC, it is uh, from VC to V2, VC to V2. Next, for current I, that is from V2 to V0, V2 to V0. At that point, we can use the concept of virtual ground. According to that virtual ground concept, if uh, one of the terminal of uh, that particular op amp is grounded, then ultimately that potential will be same to that of another terminal, and it's almost virtually grounded and the potential will be 0 according to the concept of virtual ground V1 is equal to 0 then ultimately V2 will be 0. In place of V2, that values are put it. Now the equation changes to VA divided by R plus VB divided by R plus VC divided by R equal to minus V0 divided by R. V2 is equal to 0 is put it. LCM R 
भी ए प्लस भी बी प्लस भी सी इज इक्वल टू माइनस भी नट बाई आर 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 कैंसल आउट भी ए प्लस भी बी प्लस भी सी इज इक्वल टू माइनस भी जीरो और द आउटपुट वोल्टेज भी जीरो इज इक्वल टू माइनस ऑफ भी ए प्लस भी बी प्लस भी सी कर दैट एक्सप्रेशन इन इनपुट वी प्रोवाइड द सिग्नल्स भी ए भी बी एंड भी सी सो एट आउटपुट वी ऑप्टेन दिज सिग्नल्स आर सिंपली एडेड फ्रॉम दैट ऑफ एक्सप्रेशन इट्स क्लियर फ्रॉम this expression it's clear that the output voltage is numerically equal to the algebraic sum of sum of the input signal the output voltage is numerically equal to the algebraic sum of the input signal why negative sign we obtain at output look to that of op amp we provide the signal through that of inverting terminal for that's reason we obtain the negative sign at that of output at that of output we obtain the signal which is 180 degree phase shift to that of input signal so with the help of this video lecture we understand how we create an adder circuit by using an op amp you see the op amp we provide signals then at output we obtain the signal mathematically that be the expression from that up expression we clear that output voltage is numerically equal to the algebraic sum of the input signal input voltages so by using an op amp we create an adder circuit so with this useful and informative notes let me wind up the session Thank you